In this tutorial, I'm going to be reviewing a new export feature included in the Tracer add-in for Revit. The Tracer add-in for Revit allows users to export model element records to an open database, so it can be used in other workflows uh, in environments such as Power BI. So in this case, what we've introduced is this ability to filter the elements that are included in the model to only elements visible in the active view. So this is the entirety of the model that, that we have open at the moment. And you can see that we have um, a pretty sizable amount of element counts, um, namely in the way of uh, curtain walls, uh, walls, and, and so on in this model. And in previous versions of this add-in, uh, you, know, you can select um, the different types of categories that you want to export. Um, but we found that users may want to also be able to export objects that may just be visible in a given view. And so we've introduced this new filter to active view checkbox, which will update element records to be the active view. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to jump over into a plan view for level 12, which has a selection of elements visible just on level 12, including uh, curtain wall mullions and panels, rooms, walls, um, and so on. And so when I activate the tracer add-in, on this view and I click filter to active view, you'll see that the element counts will change to reflect just elements that are visible in this view. So when I click export, the element records for just this view will be exported. And so what this allows us to do in a place like Power BI is if I were to connect to this database, you're going to see that just the element records for that view are available. And here you can see that we have a listing of columns. Um, we can see our walls um, just on that level. We can see things like the uh, curtain panels, uh, for example. So it's isolated the export just to be focused on that view that the user has selected. And this can become a really useful way to um, isolate to data in the model that you're interested in um, communicating in a place like Power BI. Um, and it can also help really expedite workflows where you're only interested in kind of very narrow selections of elements as opposed to workflows where you're having to export the entirety of the model and get to the data that you want. Um, so this can hopefully help speed up some of the workflows that people are uh, using with the Tracer Toolkit um, and also help uh, you build your story with your Revit data.